What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to record your computer screen in higher definition. And it doesn't really matter if you're a Mac user or a Windows user, I have the perfect software for you guys to use upcoming in this video. So let's get started right after the intro. So now that we are on the Movavi screen recorder website, you can find the first link in the description also. So right here it says the easiest program to record computer screens, capture webcam and microphone, save recordings as video and GIFs and take screenshots. So obviously right now we're going to click on try free because we're going to just use the actual trial. And of course, if you're a Mac user, you can just click on I need a Mac version and then we can actually proceed from there. So I'm going to click on try free and then it's going to prompt us the installer the .exe file. Okay, so after installing the software, I just skipped that process because there's nothing special to see. We're gonna wait a couple seconds until the screen recorder has booted up. And right here on the very right, as you can see, we will have the menu. So first we're gonna click on this little wheel that brings us to the preferences. Okay, so we're gonna move up from tab to tab. So the general settings is basically like in what kind of language do you want to have your interface. You can actually disable the countdown if you don't want to have anything specifically on the screen when it comes to like countdowns and all that. You can also hide the recording panel if you want to on the right. You can also disable frame blinking during capture, allow window panes selection, capture separate streams and enable sound notifications. Right here when we click on more, you can choose for example like that you want to launch this application at startup, etc, etc, automatically check for updates. So nothing too special on the first tab. Right here on the second tab, we can actually choose where we want to save our recorded file. We can just click on browse and we can just simply for example save it in this video folder where we will actually save our files. So below that, you can also choose that for screenshots where you want to save them and the format. Do you want to have your screenshots in PNG? I just prefer JPEG as well. And the quality needs to be 100%. So right now we can go to keyboard shortcuts. That basically means that you can press, for example, like F10 to start the recording, to stop recording. Uh, you can also pause it by pressing F9. But if you click on here, you type in any number that you want. For example, like F5 is going to be just like resume the capture and taking a screenshot. Let's just say we're going to put that one to F5 three and that's basically really cool that you can customize these settings so right here on the video tab the frame rate is basically your fps so you want to have 30 fps i'm going to put this one to 60 because we want to have the highest quality but right here it says audio quality that means that for example like if you're going to record your screen it's not going to be the quality of your microphone but the sound of your actual screen recording so we just want to keep this on stereo 16 bit and you can just leave the settings how they are right here the webcam is also very important you can just choose for example i have the Logitech C920, choose your resolution, for example, like 1920 by 1080 full HD, and where you want to position your webcam, do you want to have it on the upper right corner, upper left, lower left, or the lower right? So that's, for example, like if you want to add in a face cam into your gameplay while you're gaming and you're recording your gameplay, you can just add in your webcam automatically. It's really cool. Right here, we have all kinds of effects, for example, like highlight the cursor, meaning that if you want to do a tutorial, for example, people can really like follow your cursor, change the color and all that. It's really fun. We also have the schedule recorder, which basically means that you can set a time limit for recording. So let's say that you have you know, like limited space on your hard drive and you only want to record, for example, like footage that's five minutes long. You can actually just set that in. Obviously, after the capture, you can, for example, say like, I want to put my computer to sleep or shut it down. And you can also schedule recordings, for example, like, OK, at this time and this date, I want to go ahead and record my screen. That's really cool. And right here at the bottom is sharing where you can share your gameplay directly on the YouTube or you can upload it to Google Drive if you want to edit it afterwards. Okay, so now that we have, you know, go went over all the settings, we're going to click on OK, obviously. So right here, this icon means that we're going to take a screenshot. So now we see this and it will actually follow the cursor, meaning that we, we now need to select a region of our screen. So we're going to put our cursor at the very top left and then we can actually like, you know, move it up because it's re recording my entire screen. And then you can do at the bottom, you can, for example, click on this diskette icon, which is obviously making a screenshot. As you can see right here, it is. And if you want to start recording, you can just go ahead and click on this camera icon. And then you can also just go ahead and start selecting your resolution. And then you can just click on record, which is at the bottom, which is right here. So as you can see right now, the software software is basically recording and you can also just press stop with using our hotkeys on our keyboard. 
we set our time limits in the program. So you see a little countdown at the very bottom, meaning that like it is just showing like how long you have left. And we can just click on this square icon, which is basically going to make it stop recording. And right now, as you can see, this is the recording that we just made. So you can just go ahead and play it back. You can even trim it down. For example, like if you click on that scissor icon, you can actually like, you know, replace this and make it shorter. And it is really, really cool, guys. This is how you record your screen in HD, just really nice and crisp. That is it. You can find the link in the description if you want to go ahead and pick it up. Obviously, you can just click on save as when you're completely done. You can save it to wherever location and you can also pick the format format which is going to be mp4 and you can see the resolution you can also see how big the file is for example and the quality is obviously on the best and you want to click on save and then it will be saved to the folder your recording has been saved successfully you can click on show in folder and then right here it actually pops up so that's pretty much it guys it is really really easy to use it's a really user friendly interface and if you want to learn more about this program click the link in the bio so you can read more on the website and that's all I have for you guys today Oh, and guys, before I'm going to let you go, I want to also mention that you can get a free trial version. Try it out for seven days through the link in the description. And you can also pick up the program with a 20% discount using the code RECORD2020. So guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank Movavi for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously, very, very soon. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in my next video.